Uh, my name's Josh. I'm just going to be showing a quick tutorial on how to make a simple, deep, like sub kind of dubstep bass. Um, I'm using Fruity Loops 8 and I'm going to be using 3 times oscillator to make a simple yet amazing bass that can just shake the floor. Um, if we see here, I'm starting off with a bass drop. This is an amazing, yet yeah, simple dubstep or any genre of music tip or technique if you want to use this in your own music it's perfectly fine it's one that would definitely shake the floor get the symbol for moving it's amazing um, so if you just listen here and then I'll go straight into a bass that can be used in a dubstep beat so here we go show you here, it's just uh, my own preset called Deep Bass in the mixer and I'm using Fruity Stereo Enhancer, now this makes it amazing. So what I have to do is just do the separator 1 plus, um, make it go to the left or the right, it's totally up to you, I prefer the left, and then use the pre instead of post because it's, it's saved on post, and then change the invert into right if you're using left, I change mine to right, and the volume can be whatever you want, and then compress it, now I've just compressed this um, to suit my EQ here. So what I've done here is I've um, hired or raised the lower frequencies to allow a certain amount to come through and then the higher frequencies are also coming through. Now that's just in the mixer and you can adjust these to totally suit you and how you want things to work. What I'm going to show you now is the bass drop and now this is just done in piano roll so if you open piano roll and then right click on this grey area here and click channel pitch and ignore all that, that was my mouse was going a bit crazy last time and when I was setting this up so just quick let's delete that, it's just click it and it will delete and then any tool you want, paintbrush or pencil just to draw there so this means that next time the loop comes around like if you were to do another piano roll note it would play at that pitch so just lowering it just keeps it the pitch that it should be and zoomed out that is the pitch of that single note so that's going to go down like that as you play it like that I'm sorry it's a little bit lagging but thank you 